A beautiful weekend at Park Naharan near Birmingham for the annual British University Men's Football Division 1 Championship with six teams from as far apart as Aberdeen and London and history made in the final with St Mary's from London in their first final in 13 years and Robert Gordon University from Aberdeen winning it for the very first time after an excellent contest 114-26 to, to RGU. The team put in a super performance, um, Mary's exactly the same, uh, we really had to dig in deep, get the result there, we knew we had it in us and we knew Mary's had put up a good fight and it's exactly what they did, uh, just really proud of the boys, serious effort they put in just coming down for the whole weekend. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely unbelievable battle. Could have gone either way there until the last 10 minutes. Um, St Mary's, absolute bunch of warriors as well. Ran us very close. And we just barely got there in the end. But a super game of football. Uh, we're, listen, we're devastated at the changing rooms. It's not a nice changing room to be in. Um, at the end of the day, we, we never took our scores. And RGU were much more clinical. To be fair to them, they deserved it. They took their chances, we didn't. And that's something we have to live with. Well, it obviously didn't go our way, but uh, it was a very hard fought game. Uh, both teams played incredible football. Um, our boys left everything out in the pitch, which is all you can ask for. And fair played RGU, they, they were a very, very good team, very clinical, and they played, they won well. So fair played them. It's been 13 years since the Marys have made the final and it's good to see RGU coming through as well at a big win against Hope yesterday, yeah, the, one, the, the one but two points, so it's good to see two, two new teams in the final as always. This has sort of been like a two year in the making sort of thing, um, so yeah we, we came up with a plan a couple of years ago to try and knock on the door of this because we were always getting knocked out of semi-finals every year, so we've improved on it. We didn't get, we didn't fully, fully do what we wanted to do, but we've improved and we can improve some more. So we'll go again next year. We left Aberdeen at three o'clock on the Friday. We didn't arrive into our hotel until three o'clock in the morning on the Saturday, uh, and then sure you're back up. And by half ten, you have to be here and registering for the tournament. Uh, there's no main feat, in fairness. I suppose what's different this year is um, just the level of commitment from the boys, just the numbers of training. I suppose like. Massive respect to McSherry and uh, and Dermo for like rallying the troops all year and just getting everyone on board right from the start. We have some fine footballers out there at the minute. Uh, we have Roy Mason, who was an absolutely fine player, and um, scored some unbelievable points. Connor Dorn, our captain, led from the front, which is brilliant. Kieran Simons yesterday as well had a fantastic goal, and I, I, it's really hard to pick other boys out because everybody put a shift in. Nobody put a foot wrong all weekend. It would, they were they played their hearts out, so it's all he can do. future looks bright for the tournament, the, the, the standard seems to be growing and it's great to obviously have Park Naharn as, as a venue this year and um, you've got three pitches here and you've got the changing rooms and everything and it makes, it make, makes a big difference.